Hi there, welcome to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'll be your host today, Patinator. And this is a pretty interesting game. I like the, I, the idea is that you are guiding a set of adventurers, each with their own flaws, and they can gain new flaws, or they, beca they can become better than they used to be, depending on how they react to the situation. We, I'll explain more about the gameplay as we go along. It's easier for you if you have something concrete to attach it to. So let's get started. Um, I, ha I've been, I played it a bit, but there have been a lot of updates. I actually did lost the save game, but that should be done now. Yes, this is early access. The dark, fluffy, Uh, we're not gonna get into the cinematics. They record funny, usually leaving you with a blank screen. I'm not even sure if you're gonna see the loading screen, depending on the settings that we have here. It's actually a bit loud for me. After we get into the options menu, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit so that I don't feel like the the heart, the, an orchestra is playing right behind me. Although that is pretty cool if an orchestra is playing right beside me. Although you probably don't want that when you're in the bathroom. Maybe when you're having sex. It's... Okay, let's... Thank God that, yeah, that got interrupted. First of all, they like... It's pretty much like XCOM. They have apps in, in that you will lose people, supposedly. The latest updates have actually made it a little easier. Let's name this one after me because... Why the hell not? And actually, they suggest recommended that YouTubers do that. We're gonna name this after... The art guy for the site that I write on, see, but he's also he's also responsible for the profile pictures and the headers for our YouTube page and for the video icons. Navigation is used here in the lower right corner. To you pick a, a room to move to, and then you Brigands walk the path. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The yeah. helmet is just Press D ahead. to move forward. Press A to move back. If you prefer the mouse. You can click. Oh crap! I went backwards. That's gonna cause us some stress. If there's anything that really sold me on this game, it's that the you technically have two life bars. This thug in stress and HP, which we'll get into once it you know, actually affects the game. Kill the enemy. Combat is turn based on your heroes. Turn, click a skill icon, and click on the highlighted target. Yeah, we can do that. Some skills need to be in the right position for them to use it, such as our pistol shot. Uh, we can't use our pistol shot because there's. An, there are no enemies in the appropriate position. So we'll just cut this bitch open and show him who's boss. And we're gonna go with a standard smite. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Surprisingly, this can actually go south really fast. In the two or three games I've played, the tutorial level has ended up very differently for me. This can go badly. It's not just always loot, but usually in the tutorial it's loot. A gold. There is much to be found in forgotten places. But you can actually end up getting trapped, An getting ambush. poisoned, actually in even finding something unsettling will affect your characters. And their kind is no uh, before we continue, welcome. it's actually quite loud for me to the point where it's actually distracting. Let's lower the volume here. Terrible death waits. Terrible. The, the game will at extra bark time. I don't know, I don't enable anonymous data collection. Well, I guess we're gonna learn about the porn I look at. That's okay. Uh, some players will want, will recommend that you go with a AOE style. I'd rather remove meaningful interactions. Uh, meaningful enemy activations. The less of, the less times they get, they get to hit us, the better. Because their attacks don't just cause HP damage, and by the way, that's actually quite hard to deal. Yay, a crit! It's, uh, it also has a stress meter. Let's keep him locked down with stunning blow, make sure that he doesn't get to touch us. Oh, he was already stunned. That's my, that's totally on me. Let's bleed him because he has a lot of HP. If you hover over your enemies, you will see their stats below. You stun resist, blight resist, bleed def uh, debuff for everything else that doesn't fall under the previous free. We're gonna try to bleed him out because he's got a lot of HP and presumably we can keep him stunned. Yes, it's kind of the boring way to play to stun and bleed a guy, but it's also the safe way to do it. Because while you regenerate HP when you go back home, stress really stays with you. Please be stunned. Fuck. Well, oh well. 
and we bleed stacks by the way so if I can get him to bleed again instead of two per turn it'll be far per turn actually we don't even need to do anything anymore but yes once you reach the amount of stress uh, the maximum amount of stress per character what do we have here more accuracy less dodge more damage less accuracy yeah let's hit harder I like that although consistency consistency is probably the way you want to there you go a trap I am poisoned but that doesn't matter because we're leaving the dungeon but yeah if you reach a hundred stress that character breaks something happens to them either they live up to it and gain some a good quality or more likely they get a bad one which is more interesting for me I like the the fact that these guys have a will of their own the story is one of your ancestors maybe your uncle or something home. dug up dug Dodgers way is. too deep and found something much worse this than a battle dog, apparently these corrupted lands these are request goals now. they're not complete yet again this is an alpha I broke my own personal rule of well I guess it is a personal rule because it's my rule but the point is that it's still an alpha not everything is there but it's way playable at this point I'm just considering all the extra stuff to be ad additional content Two levels aren't even open yet, as we will see. Okay, you don't have far available heroes. Let's go to the stagecoach and hire people. You need to require, recruit two heroes to fill out the party for or drag and drop into your roster. To upgrade, kick the symbol on the left. I don't think we'll need to upgrade the number of heroes we have available, but we're gonna increase the number of heroes we can find, if only to add variety to the people we can hire. Fantastic, a seeker vestal, that's our healer. And unrelenting. A plague doctor or a plaque doctor if you can't read. You're gonna rename these two, make them more personal, and give me some incentive to keep them alive and not just throw them at our enemies. But yes, it's all about we're gonna call you Mosh Pit Baby. And I assume you're Chig, so we're gonna call you. If you're wondering who these people are, these are other writers on the side that I write on, the Phantom Zone, fanzone.org. We update occasionally. No one's dead yet, here. but Come most will end up here. Earth. You unlock the rest of these by completing him. quests. Let's check out what skills we have. The preferred position is where they want to be. Um, that I don't think that actually affects their stress, although it might. Uh, but it does tell you where they can use most of their abilities. The bigger, the, the more filled the circle, the more they can use. Right now, we have someone with judgment, dazzling light, divine grace, and the hand of light. All of which are pretty good. I wish we had party comfort, but that's okay. That'll matter. Party comfort, despite only healing one to two HP, will matter later should we get to, you know, uh, should things go badly. She's also going to stay in the back. You can also see their preferred targets or what their abilities can actually hit. Right now we have a team that's strong at hitting the second man, which is fine. The second man usually is a, is a ranged attacker or a softer melee attacker who's hiding behind someone with a shield, so that works out. Mecca of madness for, for now, let's go to the ruins the and begins. see if that goes well. I've had the game turn south on me on the very second level. I, I actually like that kind of variation. You may have heard me complain about it in my This War of Mine preview because it's just not random enough. You can basically do the same thing every single game and it'll all work out the same way. Right now we're gonna bring eight food and eight torches. I didn't actually read what the tutorial told me so you're gonna have to forgive me. We're also gonna bring a shovel because there will be rubble in the way. Holy water for some for anything that comes up and chests for and uh, to avoid traps and maybe find extra uh, extra loot in chests uh, lighting is a very important part of the game as you are about to see I hope you're not seeing a black screen here it's that's very boring do not adjust your monitors it is exactly what's supposed to happen must be driven back. see that lighting level over there there are four the bars of it four levels of it line. strangely and you know and I have to thank the developers for this it's that the lower the level doesn't always mean something bad at this level I believe there is no real dif difference but by here you actually end up getting crit chance and more loot we're gonna be playing there 
most because we have the stress to give out they they suffer more stress at the lower the light levels are but that's okay because we'll also get more loot and we can afford to get some people stressed out a her an urn holds ashes of the departed depending on who you want to interact with it different things may happen so we're gonna have our priest or a vestal handle it and we're gonna dump some holy water valuables remain that's good loot, with loot are often low on supplies and if you hear that chicken, well, I can't call it ambiance anymore, but yes, there's a chicken. I believe they're actually two. A oh, good, an encounter. Maggots, very high resists across the board, but they only have 5 HP. Let's see if we can hurt them. Not very well. You can also see your stat screen down here. That's why the abilities do not have, which actually kind of annoys me. The abilities don't have numbers on them, so you, when you see damage mod minus 33%, what does that mean? It even covers up the... The damage numbers, despite that, fun game. Let's go ahead and reduce meaningful activations. 3 HP doesn't seem like a lot, but, you all, but the tank only has 33. On a bad round, if they all aim for him, that's actually going to give us a lot of trouble. She has some self heal, so let's go ahead and use that. Should have used that somewhere else because her damage was 3 to 7. We're going to use Zealous Accusation because it did. See that bar over there? Over Well, I can't move the mouse over it, but the two red li two red circles with a bar between them, that means that both targets will be hit Executed and murdered. I judge the disgusting. I, f I actually don't have a problem with maggots. Worms, worms. We've got, we've got issues with worms, Remind but yourself, maggots are fine. More loot. We're going to get another torch. Every time you move a square, the light level drops a little. Not one per square, but enough to be noticeable. As we move there, see? Dropped a little. Now we're dim light, which means we'll suffer more stress. We have less chance of scouting or seeing what's up ahead of us on the map. And monsters will only be maybe surprised. Can't surprise them. Oh, alright. But I guess that's enough to bother me. We have another encounter. We do not want to focus on the cultist brawler. We want to focus on the cultist acolyte. They like rearranging the way your team is stacked up, which is very bad as that can deny you specific abilities. And you have to waste time moving them around. And they can't always move forward uh, or back two spaces. Some of them can only move one space, which can get really confusing. So right now we're gonna try to focus her. Okay, that's that's good, Sipon. You can you can do it. That's a lot of stress, actually. We're gonna keep trying to hit. We can stun her. Oh no, we can't stun her. So we're just gonna keep poking away at her. If we can stun her, that would be, and move her to the front. That would be fantastic. That's excellent. Now we're gonna bash her head in. Fucking cultists, man. I don't know how these people... Do they sit around like... Do they sit around on their porch and talk about... Oh, I remember the good old days when darkness reigned the lad. I know, honey. I know that I remember those halcyon days too. And things were so much better when everyone was bleeding and screaming out of their anus because we gave them a new one. Surges as the enemy crumbles. An AOE build might actually work for the team, but sometimes you'll find just one big guy and all your AOE attacks are now useless. So we're gonna go... I'm gonna try, attempt anyway to create a team that focuses entirely on... Uh, fo can focus one target down at a time. But for now, we will just poison their damage dealer. It's not worth fighting him yet. As you can see, because we got switched around, most of our abilities are now longer no are no longer available. We're gonna go ahead and fix that right up. Yeah, you do bleed. Thanks for the update. Are you unholy? Dude, you're human. But with a good roll, we might be able to kill him because our hero damage is 612. Fantastic. I'm doing a great job. Somebody give me a back massage. I am carrying this team. We're gonna focus on are we wounded? No, we are not gonna try to stun you keep you from hurting our team too much I do like that this game has actually made me want to defend a shuffle you sorry come back here come here yeah that's that's a good boy oh we're stunned too the crusader is actually very strong against undead enemies because most of them are unholy enemies I should say because they have a lot of abilities that grant bonus damage to it right now we are just gonna heal 
because you can't actually use your abilities out of combat so if you have the opportunity to heal yourself you'd better 3 to 7 we're not gonna kill anyone no meaningful activations denied and we do have another choice so we're gonna go for this hopefully it kills them right out the bat do we switch do we take aim I don't I have not actually found a use for these buff skills unless we're fighting a boss and we will be fighting a boss eventually Oh, thank you. That was that was very convenient. I did want to move him back there. We are gonna try to blight. Uh, they they can't resist the blight, so we may as well poison this guy. He's got 16 HP left, but hopefully it won't stay that way for long. As you know, we're gonna keep healing. There's a good chance that Seabon and myself can actually kill him outright in one turn. Although in retrospect, I probably should have stunned him. Let, let's. Can we kill him? I also don't... I, maybe I'm just blind, but I can't see... I can't tell who's going next. If I knew, I would stun the shit out of him. Yeah, let's try it. That wasn't a stun, I know. I kind of skip... The same way I skip words sometimes. Okay. That's not so bad, it's just annoying. No stress so far, we're still good. There is a camping mechanic here, but you don't need it for deeper dungeons, which is fine. Still alive, huh? The bigger Shows what I know. The greater the glory. Chiggins charm. Minus far accuracy. Most of these items have drawbacks. I don't want to try quite use you, although crits are very powerful in this game. And strangely enough, unlike most other games, it's not about the damage. Well, the damage isn't what makes them amazing, although that's a nice bonus. It's the fact that they can reduce stress. And if you can't reduce stress in combat, you'll have to send them away for a day. That's a trap. We're gonna have our highwaymen deal with it. Scouted traps will be visible on the ground as you approach them. Select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Well done. We're gonna have our light levels drop a little. Yes, the current torch level greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder things get, but the better the rewards. You might even say we might want to go into the darkest dungeon. I'll be here all week. And this should be fine. This current lighting level. It says it's a treasure room anyway. You lying son of a bitch. Because we only have 7 HP, we may actually want to try our luck. No, we don't. No, we really don't. Let's just chop this guy up. Okay, that's not the plan. If it seems like I'm panicking early, it's because this can go south really fucking fast. You don't want that. It's the first video. You want it to go? Okay. Oh, that's not... That's not cool, guys. Get it together. Ooh, two. <laughs> hey there, big spender. How much money you got? Two money. Three to seven. Three to seven. Actually, a good chance that we'll kill one of them. I was gonna say both, but shows what I know. Bite, eh? Blight. Bite leads to blight. What does that do? Stunned. That's okay. We're gonna marked. Oh, I can't die here. Not like this. Heal up. Three, huh? Healing isn't, isn't actually that effective or efficient here, but we did it. And we're gonna have to live with it. Stun. This is a problem. Our main damage dealers are stunned, so that's a dead turn. Three. I am blighted, but I do not have anti-venom because I brought a fucking shovel. I didn't think it would go south to enemies that had 7 HP. Honestly, if all the things I thought it would go south to, it'd be one of those acolytes. I will cure the blight, I can do that. No I can't. Thank you Dorian Gray for your effort. I appreciate it, but kind of. Grape shot. Oh, you're fired! You are so fired! Wow, this is... This is not going well. I mean, it's not going terribly. Maybe I should have checked their stat screen, because it tells us... Oh, light up of 75, more damage. Oh yeah, 
you don't instantly die when you get hit, uh, when you get dropped to zero. Instead, you are at death's door. You will suffer, suffer stat penalties, but you need to get, get hit again to actually drop, uh, to actually die. And death is indeed permanent here. Do we have any sort of heal? No? No? Maybe we can kill them. Maybe you can kill anybody. How about that? Anyone, anyone at all would do. Not yourself, please. Please don't kill yourself. That is not cool. And that's why her mass party heal, which only heals for one f or two, is actually very good. If you're in a bad situation, that can give your entire team an extra turn. We're gonna cure our blight because that will kill him. Or give him the Yeah, that's something. Ow. Oh, please. Why? Are you... Do you have a light thing? Okay, fine. I'll give up the loot. I guess we're gonna go back to playing safety here because I don't want to lose someone in their very first tutorial fucking dungeon. It's supposedly so easy, you can't even escape, you can't even r retreat from it. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, be cool. 3 to 5, 3 to 5. 5! Okay. Luckily, no one's all that stressed about it. How quickly does the tide turn? I actually like the sound effects. They're, they all sound very... solid. Very, uh, very full. You can get the full impact of each strike. And the voice acting ain't half bad either, the narrator. As to who you are in this game, I don't know. We're gonna have the person with the most HP open that, because we're not very brave. A chest with your family sigil. We're gonna use a key, hope for some extra loot. Bust. Uh, those will let us upgrade the town and the individual buildings inside. Uh, they're in? Inside? Whatever. Let's see. That's a big fight. And that's a, that looks like the Holy Grail. We're going to go for the Holy Grail in an attempt to stay, you know, immortal and alive. You don't want to die in a very first adventure. There are very few ways of... Oh, good. Of getting HP back. That's one of them. You can also have the manually eat. We're going to have our highwayman deal with this. He's not going to deal with it, but he is going to... Cool machinations spring to life. Okay. We're going to have him eat so that he has at least one HP. I don't think this is as bad as I'm making it, but we're likely to lose heap on really early. Sorry, buddy, but you missed three times in a row. There's nothing here. Oh, but there is a fight coming up next. Hopefully it goes a little better. Maggots, huh? Fuck you. And this is when you really want those meaningful activations denied. That was a meaningful one. Are we gonna heal? We're gonna heal. Because our zealous accusations would take out the first two... Yay! The first two maggots before things go south. As they are now. I don't want to run from the first dungeon. That's sad. This is the tutorial dungeon. Noxious Blast. We don't have anything to heal, so we're just gonna blow that shit up. Good boy. Good girl. Good girl sounds so creepy. I found weird when I call them my dogs. Oh, good girl. Good girl. And you don't want to say that to, you know, anyone who matters, I guess. Who is older than you or, you know, the same social level as you, like, a brother or a sister. Good girl. Or maybe I've just seen a lot of porn. You cannot die, we need you. This is true. As we have completed. Mount, We're gonna, I'm gonna so eat again. Will I actually think this will work out. For books, let's have our plague doctor, who presumably has read more books than the rest of these people. I wonder if you can burn the books. Okay. Oh, we're definitely gonna have our plague doctor look at this. Thank you. That was helpful. That's exactly what we were looking for. Oh boy. At least there's no one that can give us a status effect. Except the status effect of death. Which would be tragic. Let's reduce meaningful activations. 8 HP. Can we kill him in one shot? Maybe. And we do. Good. You're not getting fired. You get to see your family again, kind of, if you have a family. I mean, in-game. He has a family in real life. 
case you had to pop out of someone's vagina at some point. No bleed, we're gonna shovel this jerk out. Even if he does have 16 HP, I believe getting them to the front limits their actions as well. Since we're very good against the unholy, we can act we might be able to kill it in a crit, but let's go with the sure thing. The sure thing. Ooh, we don't these two characters aren't actually that useful in this situation. I can't make anyone bleed. And I don't want to do grape shot. So we're gonna just gonna pick on the weakest man and hope for the best. As that's what they're gonna do too, but we have a dodge. Judgment is at hand. Nice job. You're getting a Christmas bonus. I'm getting stitches, because apparently I'm a bitch. On that note, you wouldn't believe the number of times people have called me ma'am. Even after I cut my hair. This expedition at least. Ooh, Brawler's gloves. I like it. Mostly because we can give up some crit, 1% crit is terrible, but at the very least we have damage, Make it makes us more consistent. That's good. I didn't even think that went through, and I should have. Probably should have had the priest do it or someone weaker. Ooh, stressed. Why? From being in a dungeon? I guess that is kind of stressful. I haven't been in that many dangerous situations. Oh no, there's the danger of I forgot to make my coffee. Which you might be able to tell is the situation we're in now. Forgot my coffee. That's okay, I have last night's coffee with me. Don't drink it, it's terrible, Pat. There's a fight coming up. And at least one big fight coming up next. So we may want to heal up for that. Let's have 913. I still have the highest HP. Yes! Well, while we are taking this break, we're going to look at our traits. We are a warrior of light in dungeon wield, which is... Alright, we don't have that yet. Hard noggin. You, I, that didn't seem like it was actually things to there. Eldritch, unknown cheat, is not allowed to gamble in town. That will limit the way he can get rid of stress. This one is mercurial. Warrens and Slayer of Unholy. This can really color the way you build your party if you're paying attention. I make no such promises. Believes is possessed by demons. Prone to investigating the dark arts. I. Those sound like those problems are related. We do want to keep the light up to let them deal more damage. Which is unfortunate. We're not going to get damage loot in this team. Keep the light up. Oh, there. You happy now? You happy now, Moshpit baby? Hmm. I really don't want to screw up her position, so we're gonna go after her. And we're gonna blow you right the fuck up. Am I not listening to me? Let's at least stun it. Make sure we don't act as much and let's shuffle her to the front. Make her... Pay attention, guys. We're Maybe if I don't talk about my plans. Will it hit? That was also a wasted move. Bleed! Ren for the old gods gives us... Oh, he resisted it, but he's at death's door. Every road does end. Thank you. You have stated a fact, and you have added the sentence to the ongoing discussion. You've gotta do better. So we're gonna... We're gonna pump you up. Timing, timing was a little off, but I'm proud that that reference was made. In a Man, stress really gets out of hand fast. Fine. See, I stopped talking about my plans and we decided it's time to succeed. We're gonna use emboldening vapors again. Buff, these, buff our guys up. And we're gonna use zealous accusation. You are jackasses! And you have been found guilty. Well, the first one was more of a judgment than an accusation. And you can't be found guilty if you're just saying something like... 
I am a boy, guilty. But that doesn't seem right. Yes, they can be beaten. Thank you, helpful narrator, for clarifying our current situation. The light level you have before you enter a room, by the way, is the same level you'll have when you enter it. So that is important. That may be important if you're running low on torches. Or if you've got balls like some other people. Oh, thank God, a shovel came into play. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. I used my shovel, didn't I? Oh, I should have clicked the shovel. Well, that's what happens when you don't. And I meant to do that just to illustrate the importance of a shovel. Where did we get food? Wherever we got it, I'm happy that we have it. The sack is empty. We're gonna keep the light out because we're gonna go to the, we're about to enter this dungeon's quote unquote boss battle. This should go well. Fuck me. Fuck spiders. Actually check my feet a second there. It's about something. Seriously, fuck spiders. You eight legged sons of bitches. Ex except Spider Man. That guy is not a menace. That guy is a. That guy is a good member of the community, so go fuck yourself, JJ. Okay, even not talking about the plans apparently doesn't help us out a lot. Death's door. Thank God he's not bleeding. Please don't attack her again. Oh, good. Five. Healing isn't that strong in this game, which is, I guess, promotes a more aggressive approach to the encounter. Last time I tried to explain shit. Zealous accusation? Thank you. I'm hoping we can kill them. I have no hopes, apparent. No, no, no. We have to kill them now. <sighs> my un my unlimited hatred for myself. Stop it! Stop it! A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Seriously, that's fucking enough. Oh, that's nice. She. Anger is power. Unleash it. Virtuous. Sometimes you respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming heroic. This elevated state of performance will last until they camp or return to town and confer stat bonuses and other benefits. If she lives through this attack. Hey! Die. Die. I believe status effects only trigger when you leave a room or make progress on our little map here. So we're just gonna leave. And we're okay. We are. We're totally fine. The heirlooms are what you use to upgrade things at, at the little hamlet we live in. This is our level, which. I'm not even sure what that affects. I think that affect the, affects the maximum level of your skills, which you will need to train at the guild hall. Which I don't think we have yet. I can still see their angry oh, there. faces as the tavern is now unlocked. Which is I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. If you were dead before they found you, how are you talking to me? I once had a writing teacher tell me that not to do that. She had a personal well, not a personal vendetta, but she really Fresh didn't like first-person stories that ended in death. Because it doesn't seem... There will be a mental disconnect unless you do the viewpoint really well. People are just gonna... F people might get... Confused? Confused isn't the right word. But anyway. Because the character is dead and still talking to you. And that shouldn't be. Stress relief... Lost them in that activity until the next week. Before we figure out who we're sending there, let's see who we can hire. We have an extra Seeker Crusader, Peckhoff. But we're only going to get these two. We already have a Seeker Crusader, Bonder and that's me. Rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Hmm. You're going to be key guy.
And that's fine with me. And you're gonna be... Toyn costs. Dash again. Again, Writer's First Sight. But only updates every now and then. Obsessed with killing. That's fantastic. That's our plan. There's something terrible here. We can feel it. We don't have a real front. Oh, we do have a frontliner at least in Kikai. Um, that's going to end it for this episode. No, not yet. We have looked at the, the abbey. Have been dusted. The pews set straight. Since we have the a good... To the faithful. Good, uh, two good second stringers. I mean, second stringers. That's mean. Two people who can take up the second position. We can have Sipon safely go to... No cheat material, so he can't go to... He can't go gamble. Eh, let's get him hookers. Come here. Have some hookers. Ooh. Hey, big spender. Since we only need four people, and you are actually... Actually, we need you to stay right now because people are kind of stressed. I should have sent you to the brothel. But instead, you're going to go drinking. Oh, that, that's not the one we're supposed to click. Do we want to? Fine, let's send her out. Maybe we don't need that much healing. Haha, <laughs> that's super appropriate considering who that's based on. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode. We'll be back with more Darkest Dungeon in a few days, tomorrow, depending on how this upload thing works out. If you had a chuckle, learned something new, or you're suddenly interested in this game, please give us a like. I would truly appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.